Today is day 11 from the date of surgery, 18th of August 2019. This four years old female not spayed duction was done surgery 11 days ago. There was a large skin tumor on her left elbow. The doctor did electrosurgery to remove the lump under gas anesthesia. Now we will show the surgical procedure. The doctor used electrosurgery to cut the lump. With a margin, you can see the margin about one centimeter away from the tumor so that any tumor cells will be removed. We're undermining the skin to create more, more space for stitching up using Z plus T. This, this uh, Z plus T was done and you can see part of it here in this video but uh, we will explain how it is done at the end of this video but uh, you can see partly the stitches and the Z okay we'll show the procedure now okay so now we show the procedure Z plus T mm. the red the color tumor. on the first picture is the tumor, mm, tumor mm. so the skin incision the outside one margin, is the skin incision uh, margin of one centimeter if possible from the tumor from the edge of the tumor yeah so that in case there are any cancer cells which have spread out that uh, it will be excised completely okay so this first one and then you also need to do the another way, uh, undermine uh, uh, parallel to the uh, undermine the sides. undermine the skin and make two cuts here yeah. one on uh, this side and then the other side so the second picture the second picture now this is the bigger, uh, bigger circular holes already, and then mm. And then you can see another two incisions. Mm. So the lower part of the wound, mm. you need to pull, stitch pull up, upwards, uh. pull upwards. And then, then the, the other side, side, you need to pull stitch downwards. up, pull downwards. Okay. So, the so this is the third picture. After you stitch up, you can see the wound as the Looks Z. Like a Z. Mm. Yeah. So here also. Z okay. Where's your marker? The Z Z plus T refers to the the shape of the incision after surgery it looks exactly like a Z, Z. Yeah. Uh, that, is, that is why it's called Z plus T what's the purpose of Z plus T? to reduce the tension tension yeah, yeah because this one is the mobile area mm, and correct. if you only uh, cut like this and you stitch up the circular ends, uh, there will be a lot of tensions and the stitch can break down easily correct, correct. now uh, if you use the Z plus T there has uh, less tension very yeah. less tensions and the stitches are stay attached and they the won't healing well correct correct so uh, if uh, you need to do the removal of the lamp like this the mobile area the Z plus T is the best way to stitch up yeah, so there's no tension. Huh? Yeah, no okay, tension now we will go and see the, the tumor the inside. Yeah. We'll go and see the before and after. Okay, we start with the... Okay, this one? This one is uh, three days. No, f uh, before surgery, the before owner... Before surgery, the was owner was up the photo to the doctor mm. that uh, she saw a small lump mm. on the elbow area. Elbow. Yeah. Mm. The second one? No, the second one, just do the second one. This mm. is the... On the day of the surgery, we shave the mm. elbow You can see the tumor is rather large. Yeah. The tumor. This is the tumor. Quite big, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the third photo. Let me just go photo by photo. Okay, so we ask the owner to, to give antibiotics for five days and let the dog wear, wear, wear an Elizabeth collar so that the wound is, the tumor is clean before surgery. Next one. Where is day one? This one is uh, before surgery. Mm. Uh, we shave a big area so mm. that we can do the incisions easily. And also the Z plus T. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the tumor is quite large, you can see. The next one. 
techniques. Uh, uh, this is the Z plus T. This one is the Z plus T. Which was explained earlier on how it was done. This is the results. Okay, explain the Z. So uh, is this Z? is the tumor's area. So we cut here and then we cut another two lines here and here. Mm. Parallel to the wound. Correct, then pull So up. the lower uh, part of the wound we stitch up on top. Mm. And then the this pull. end of the wound we pull downwards and then we stitch up here. And then we also stitch up the two slides. And then the wound is now looks like the Z. Z, okay, the next yeah. next picture. The wound break down. Oh, that's what the owner thought. Yeah. So you came came here for what? Inpatient. Uh, came here for inpatient and wound cleaning. Mm. But there was no wound breakdown actually. Yeah. The owner uh, due to the bleeding, the owner thought that the stitches break down. But at the time, the dog here, we checked the wound and all the stitches are still attached. Okay, they stay so, too mm. Yeah. We asked the owner to uh, put the dog here and then we do the so wound cleaning. No movement. Yeah. yeah. No movement. Okay. What's the so next one? Now, uh, today, the wound healing. No, 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 no. So this is the other one. That. Yeah. This so one is the histopathology. Mm. Histo the the tumor was quite large. Sent for histology. Okay, what's the results? Uh, this one is the tumor. Yeah. We put into the formalin. The big one, no? Yeah. Mm. We okay, cut okay. all. And then we put into the send. formalin mm, and then send to the, the lab. lab. Okay. Ah, this is the results. Yeah. What's the result? Just read the lower uh, part. Completely exits with 0 0.5 Size. millimeters mm. of normal deep and 1.5 millimeters of normal lateral margins. Mm, that means and then the diagnosis is benign excising. cutaneous histosarcoma. Mm. So it's good news for the owner that it's not cancerous, not the blood test. Show we did the blood test before the surgery and then the blood test sh shows all normal, kidney, liver functions normal and hematology also normal. Mm, okay, so this one finish. So the next one. So conclusion. Uh, this is the today picture. Mm, at, at large. Okay. Day 11 mm. from the surgery. The wound is healing well, all the stitches are stay intact, and then the dog can go back home. The tumor is benign, cutaneous. Cutaneous histocytoma. No stitch breakdown, yeah. Okay, when will, will the stitch be removed? Uh, 14 days, so. Um, See this one? Mm. Today, now is the, today is 11 days. Mm, 14 days. So, so conclusion? Z plus T, about Z plus T? Yeah, if the. Tumor is on the mobile area and there has no skin to stitch up. Um, we need to do the Z plus T to reduce the tensions and to stay uh, intact the stitches and get the wound healing well. Okay, just stop right from now.